So when we moved to Marlboro, we wanted to create a more connected artist community. We were hoping to build a community that did not require folks to have to spend money to be part of our community. And so that meant uh, being a collective rather than a nonprofit or a for-profit business. So we don't require folks to pay money to submit to our shows. Um, and we don't take commissions when folks sell work. This allows anyone to enter our shows and when they sell work they're able to price it a lot lower because they're able to keep the full amount of sale and it makes it more accessible to the public because the art is more affordable so it really benefits everyone. We are primarily volunteer based because we don't have a revenue stream um, but that uh, those acts of volunteerism help create the community and create the opportunities in which we can connect with each other. It's a nice option if you don't have another community outside of say church or you don't want to go to a bar, um, you don't have kids who have sports, you know it's a place for the community to gather that doesn't require the purchase of an item. Hi my name's Amanda Lonis and this is my piece. Uh, we are avid users of the library system, so this is like a perfect call for me. So on the background, there is every book that we have taken out from the Marlboro library system since 2014. So there are over 2,000 titles on there for between me and my kids. And some of the favorites or ones that I thought that my kids liked a little bit more are in the center. My name is Alana Robles Conlin and I went to Massachusetts College of Art and Design over in Boston. Well, here in Marlboro, it's really great to have an opportunity to create art with people. Uh, there are different, you know, like parts of Marlboro to, so to have a really central place where people can make art and display art in this new building is really exciting and I think that it is going to be a great opportunity. We've done a lot of art with people down at Lushu, at some of the other breweries, but I think working at the library and having our pieces here kind of opened us up a whole new world of maybe young artists. I know that they've been here very welcoming at the library to doing some workshops, and I know between the Marlboro Makers, we all have a lot of experience in teaching, so I think that that could also be a really great way to bring a community to this particular space, in addition to kind of creating community all around Marlboro. So the next five years of Marlboro Makers will continue to offer opportunities for artists to exhibit work, maintain a similar structure to what we have, but we hope to branch out and begin to pull in grants to support artists in their volunteer time. Something that really impacts people is who has time to be able to volunteer, and time poverty is a real thing. Some people just can't afford to lend their time for things that interest them. But if we can offer small stipends for folks' work, then those folks can feel supported and still be a part of the artist community and not feel like they have to sacrifice time that they don't have. And it will help uplift artists who maybe want to be part of this group but just can't afford it. Um, and we hope to create bigger opportunities for artists to get paid. So specifically public art opportunities that invite artists to come in, whether that's murals or sculptures, um, and just provide more opportunities for artists to engage with art in the city other than our small exhibitions.